Welcome to another video. So, if you watched my previous video, you'll know that I covered the Noose Hermes 3 model. The Noose Hermes 3 model is basically a new fine-tuned version of the Llama 3.1 model, which is uncensored and is slightly better trained in areas like coding. The 405B model is even better because it's much more thoroughly trained and scores well on coding benchmarks. But the one thing that makes all this crazy is that new research has made this model available for free API and chat usage for a month, which means we can use it as a co-pilot without any limits, which is crazy if you think about it. You can literally use the Hermes 3405B for free within any application that supports custom OpenAI API endpoints. So today, I'll be showing you how you can use their API and use it as a fully free co-pilot that's also fully uncensored. Although they have their own API base, URL, and keys that you can configure and get from their site, I won't be using that because configuring it can be a hassle with extensions. Instead, I'll use Open Router since it has coverage in the extensions we're going to use and also offers this model for free. So, I'll be using it for the chat interface, while for autocomplete, we can use a smaller on-device model. So, those are the models. Just like usual, for the extensions and interface, I'll be using Shell GPT for the Shell Copilot, like I always do, because it's really easy to configure, and you can integrate it with Light LLM, which will help us get it configured with Open Router. For the main VS Code extension, I'll be using Continue Dev since it works really well and has built in integration for local models as well as Open Router. So, I think it should be the best choice for this. Now, let's get started and check it out. First, go to Open Router and get an API key from there. Once you have that, keep it in a safe place because we'll need it later. Now, let's get Shell GPT installed. To do that, just run the pip install shell gpt command. This will install shell gpt. To make it work with open router, we'll need to get light llm installed. So, just run the pip install light llm command. This will install light llm on your computer. Once done, run the sgpt command. Enter your open router API key. Once you do that, you'll see this error. Don't worry. Just open the sgpt config file. Now, change the light LLM variable to true. Once done, change the model to open rotor noose research herms 3 like this. Make sure it looks like this, then save it. Once you do that, shell gpt should start working. You can use the sgpt command without any operator for just text output, or you can use the shell operator if you want shell suggestions. It's pretty cool. You can check out my Shell GPT video for more details on it. Okay, now that's done. So, let's get the Continue Devi VS Code extension installed. To do that, just open up VS Code and go to the Extensions tab. Now, search for Continue Dev. Once you do that, you'll see this extension. So, just get it installed. Once that's done, you'll see the Continue Dev extension in your sidebar. So, just click it. Now, you'll see this interface. Over here, you'll see this drop down. Just click the Add button over here. Now, over here, you can see a bunch of providers. Just click the other OpenAI compatible option over here. Let's select the Llama 3.1 over here. Once you do that, you'll see this model on your home screen. But, we don't want to use this. So, just click this Settings button over here. This will open up this file. Over here, you'll see this API base URL. Change it to this. Also, add the API key over here like this. Once that's done, change the model name to Hermes 3 like this. Once everything is looking like this, just save it. Once done, the chat should start working with the Hermes 3405B model. It's really cool. 
Let me tell you what you can do with the chat interface. You can send messages and get responses here, and you can also generate code. Anytime you generate code in the chat interface, you can add it to your file via the Insert at Cursor option as well as the Copy option. There are also some other options, like you can generate code directly in your file with the Control and I shortcut. You can also add a code base and files to your chat for code references. So, now that the chat part is done, but you'll also need autocomplete, right? So, for autocomplete, we can't use this model, since continue dev doesn't allow for that, and it also wouldn't make sense, because it would be super slow. So, for autocomplete, I'll recommend the Quen 21.5B model. So, to do that, first we'll need to get Olama installed. To do that, just go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page and choose the Quen model. Now, choose the 1.5B variant and copy the installation command. Paste it into your terminal and it will get installed. Once installed, send a message and check if it works. Now, go over to Continue Dev and click the Settings icon. Now, in the Autocomplete section, change the model to Quen 2 like this. Once that's done, the Autocomplete should start working. I prefer this model because it's super small and works well in autocomplete scenarios. I think this is one of the best co-pilots you can currently use for free. They say they're going to limit the API in the future, but until that happens, you can keep using it. The quality is also super cool here. From my experience, this co-pilot is really cool and works well. You can use the bigger model in chat, while for autocomplete, you can do everything locally. If you want, then you can also use some other model in the autocomplete. I recommend using Quen because it's super small and can almost run on any computer. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.